bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Welcome back. This is Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Tony Ventrella. Thank you for joining us today. As you know, I'm very curious. I want to know about my body, about what's good for me and what isn't. And I want to know as much as I can about prostate cancer. Dr. William Dean, a Tacoma urologist, joins us today. And you've got all the information for me in a couple of seconds. You told me before we went on camera that PSA is a good indicator for inflammation. What does that mean? Inflammation is uh, a ground state of, uh, of uh, disease that we see in the physiology that is related to all kinds of cancers. Almost every cancer, Tony, is related, has some degree of inflammation to mm -hmm. it. So PSA meaning a sort of a blood test, is that what that means? Yeah. PSA is a blood test and it gives you uh, an indication of inflammation in the prostate. What is new about prostate cancer? We hear about it, we know that you go to the doctor and he pokes around and says you're at risk, you're not at risk. What's new that we maybe didn't know five years ago? Well, the good, the, the good news is that you can treat it early. And, uh, and the prostate cancer is actually an early disease. It's a disease that occurs probably in men's 30s and 40s and becomes relevant and significant in their 50s. And by, so by that, you're saying that they may have had it for 20 years. Right. And it doesn't that's, manifest itself. That's, that's exactly right. Tom. All right, so then it's good then in your 30s to get this some sort of exam for that. Probably, you know, starting, if you have risk factors such as family history, it's important to start doing that uh, in your 40s. Uh, start looking at PSA as a, uh, as a marker for inflammation, and there are numbers that we can use in order to figure that out, but otherwise, age 50 and above. Our mothers always told us, and sometimes our dads, to uh, uh, get some exercise and eat a balanced diet. Correct. Balanced diet is, I mean, it depends on who you are though, right? Because you, you were telling me earlier that beef is good for some, not for others. That's correct, because some people uh, happen to have physiologies that are not really appropriate for uh, having beef in their diet. So if people go to the website that you're showing on the screen, can they get more information? How is Ethel out there going to know whether milk or beef is good for her when it may not be good for Tony? Oh, uh, she can take a test. Okay, and yeah. that is that that same test we're that's, talking about? That's correct. Okay. It's, a, it's a test in order to define who you are uh, from a mind-body constitution standpoint. Okay, it, where is where is medicine going now? Is it going to a point? Uh, is it is it? Are we mixing Western and Eastern medicine? What's the future? Well, I think the future is to look at the body as both a matter field and an energy. A matter field, field and an energy field. Okay. You know, right now what we do when we do operations, we do X-rays. We're actually looking at the body as a matter field, right. and we, we do a lot of measurements with, uh, in the present medical condition. Uh, but, you know, there's another way, Tony, to look at the body, and that's as an energy field. And we know that to be valid. Since Einstein said E equal MC squared, we know that energy and matter are totally interchangeable. True, right. So to, to have a true integration of medicine today, we're going to have to employ both a matter field and an energy field discipline. There has to be a marriage. And once we have that marriage, we're going to have a real gift to give to ourselves. All right, now will you go out on the limb and say that if I have uh, a, uh, the oversized burrito that I can get at the most of the drive-in uh, with a Coke, uh, that's not good for me, but it might be good for Ethel? Uh, no, well, we won't go that far, Tony. <laughs> we won't go that far because actually uh, carbonated drinks are not very good. Yeah. And uh, usually a burrito uses beans, cheese, and eggs, to yeah. get our beans, cheese, and meat together. And beans and meat uh, don't, come together, they don't mix well. Wow, this is Dr. William Dean, a Tacoma urologist. We only have 30 seconds to go. If people go to the website, can they get more information? They That's sure can, question. Tony. Okay, yeah. is there a book coming soon? There is a book Good. coming out, and uh, that'll be introduced on the website. Excellent, thank yeah. you very much. Okay, sir, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it, and uh, yeah. before the uh, program, Dr. Dean took my pulse and said, don't eat tomatoes anymore, but that's just for me. <laughs> See you next time on Newsmakers. <laughs>